and this is Bo. And this is Bo's first official day here at Ranchito del Lago. And so we're going to do a little work with him and just kind of get him started. Now, ooh, Bo is a Bastra Curly, so you can see his curly little head. But he's gone without work for about a year, but you wouldn't know it to look at him. Now we are using a snaffle bit with him today just because he's always been trained in a bit we are eventually going to work into where we can train him for fitless so basically the first thing i'm going to do is kind of get him walking around now we've been riding for a little while we've warmed up and we've just been kind of testing what he can and can't do now his problem so far have been he's just a little stiff on the forehand and he's a little itchy. But I have been able to get him started with a little trot. And he's taking a trot. He's a little bouncy. But Now he wants, he's kind of stopping right there. Yes, and there's something that he's not liking exactly. But I can't quite figure out what it is. So stop. <clears throat> now with Bo, we are just working the first time. And all I'm really interested in is him keeping a consistent trot. Now his trot is really bouncy. We still haven't come up with some tack that perfectly fits him yet. So we're kind of testing everything, but he moves out really nicely. I haven't had to put a whole lot of pressure. Now, one of the first things I want to see how they do is the spot off leg. So I'm going to use outside leg, outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. And I got a small circle. I really didn't have to get the nose in too much. But we're going to do it again. And get the nose. And leg. 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 Kind of pushing things to see it. That was a much smaller, smaller circle. Now we're going to stop. Cool. And get him to back. Back, back, back. He's pretty stiff on the forehand. So I'm gonna see if I can guide him into the fence. If he can step into the fence. So back, back, back. And hopefully he'll take a step. Oh, he'll turn his butt out. He's moving his hind quarters pretty good. But his forehand needs some work. What you do on one side, you do on the other. So outside leg. Outside leg, step. Oh, he'll turn his butt out. He's moving his Hind quarter is pretty good. But his forehand needs some work. What you do on one side, you do on the other. So outside leg. Outside leg. Nose in. There we go. Okay, Bo and I are going to start working on a turn on the forehand. Now, a turn on the forehand is going to move the back end around the forehand. If you use the fence, you have your outside, which is the fence. That's going to be where your cue is. So you're going to tip the nose to the fence, and the outside leg, this leg, is going to come back to the button number three position. Now, the inside leg, you're actually going to take your knee and push it away from the horse. You're going to open the door to the inside. Now, you also have to keep your hands straight and keep the horse from forward motion or walking forward with your inside hand. So, to start this exercise, we're going to pick a point on the fence 
which is going to be this gate. Tip his nose to the gate, open the door. I tip his nose and button number three, button number three, number three, and walk forward. So he's got the concept of this. I'm going to pick this fence, put his nose on it, button number three, button number three, button number three, button number three, and pull him back and keep him from walking forward. So again, with the gate, we're going to go nose to fence, button number three, fence side. A little early that time. What I'm looking for is a crossover with the back leg. So we're going to go a little farther this time. Nose to fence, button number three, button number three, button number three. Keep him from walking forward. That was really ugly, so we're going to do a shorter one over here. And button number three, button number three, button number three. Turn. Now I'm going to turn his head a little bit more. Button number three, button number three, number three. Turn. So the fence helps you keep your horse from walking forward. There we go. Good boy. And can help work on that command. Now he's kind of moving up a little bit forward, but this is a good button number three exercise in that it helps control that hindquarter. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember to see more, check out our playlist. Bo's playlist is coming on up.